Welcome to Face the Facts. I am your host, Nick Face. It's good to see you here once again. Joining me to my left this afternoon, we have Tom Smith. Who's and, this guy? And Phil Healy makes his return. I, we we Bruce, pushed you so into the ocean yeah. last time. Yeah, it was, it was fine. I we're had a good through time. The, uh, we're we through the lifesaver. The life preserver. Yeah. The life preserver, the life oh, preserver yeah. hopefully brought you back into sea. We'll see. We'll see how we want to thank channel. Bruce for joining us on our last he show great, uh, yeah. that he did. I thought he did a very nice job. Um, on today's program, we're going to talk about all pretty much four of our Boston-based teams, with one exception with being the World Series was just played. We're going to talk about the, uh, the outcome of that series right there. Somebody was right on this set on who was going to win. I'm, I'm not going to say who, though. I'm not, I'm not going to say who. And it wasn't Tom. It, it, it wasn't? wasn't Phil. So I don't know. Let's talk about the Bruins first. I think they deserve to be talked about first because right now, to me, I know the Patriots are undefeated and all, but I, I got a lot of hype right now with the Bruins. Is that a fair statement there to say that? I mean, they're the only team with uh, one regulation loss. And it really shouldn't be a regulation loss. We were talking about this should off have gone air. To overtime. And the game that the Bruins lost so far in, in their As regulation loss should was against the Colorado gone, Avalanche. Should have at least gone yeah. to overtime. And that was two or three goals that were called off two. by, it was two. Two. Uh, by the officials for either offsides or something really ticky wasn't it like, yeah, it was like a half a centimeter? Or like a goaltender interference, something yeah, like that. Yeah, inter goaltender interference that oh. was, uh, that I don't know about that. And then the other one, the second one was offsides. But Pasternak would have had another goal. Is he the MVP of the NHL right now? Yeah. I would say I so. I think so. Um, I mean, he has... Is it 12 goals? Might be up to 14 now. Oh my God, really? How many games have they played? They're only 12 games in. 12 games yeah. in. How many points does he have? Although? He had, actually, um, the other night was he had 12, uh, when I was watching the game the other night, it was 12 goals and 12 assists, but I think he got, uh, he scored another he one. He did score Sanzo, another goal, so yeah. I think it's yeah. 25 points total Holy or something. Holy crap. Yeah. That's, that's I mean, everybody yeah. says it's Bergeron Marchand's team here, but you know what? This is David Pasternak's well, team here. Yeah, wasn't gonna, he hurt during the playoffs, the... too? I think that was a leading no, reason why yeah. well, the Bruins he had, didn't he had, win the Stanley you know, Cup. And his slip yeah, and fall. And oh, the, oh yeah, is that the... He, he yeah, hurt yeah. his thumb uh, yeah. earlier. He know. had a whoopsie. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. there's a lot of positives to be talking about here on the Bruins. You have that first line has just been absolutely a domination. Explosive. Bergeron is probably their weakest link right now, but he's going to get it together. He's the only know. one that hasn't gotten the star of the weekend in the NHL for that one. Yeah, it's but. coming, folks. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm not worried. We talked about on the last show how, yes, they were winning and stuff, and I was a little bit concerned with the secondary scoring. Well, as that's soon changed. As you said that, <laughs> they started blowing up. I will say the return of David Krejci was an excellent thing that happened this I past think... Tuesday night because it slides back Charlie Coyle to a much better position on him not having to be that lead force. Krejci came back. He got his goal. He got some, a couple assists, I think, in the game. But it was a lot more fluid, a lot more, a lot more uh, things were in place I, I where they say, should have been. I will say this was probably his best return game from an injury that I've ever Crazy? seen. Yes, yeah. I will say that too. It was a welcomed addition. You're seeing great production from the defense. And I must say too that you are also seeing a really good defensive uh, job done by Chara. Chara's been excellent. Yep. I mean, they, they, they all really have been. Um, they've been more offensively explosive, um, all of them. You I know, would say Carlo kind of probably the best on that. Well, every time Carlo's on the ice, he's, he's scoring you're, or you're doing seeing something. him in the offensive zone no matter what. Yep. So, um, but, I mean, they're all trying to you know, work their offensive game, you know, take, uh, get chances when they can, um, making great plays. I mean, another you know, other underrated player right now is Danton Heinen. Yep. I mean, he's making, he's not, you know, he's not producing right now, but, you know, he's making he's setting some up great the plays. plays and, you know, he's setting up the plays. Using his hockey and I know you you don't love David Backus. You don't want him out there with stuff. But Backus he, actually had a very good game, against San, good game against San Jose. And I know I it's San Jose. It. They're not that great and everything. But I think it's been a pleasant surprise after the letdown from Game 7 to see the Bruins bounce back pretty effectively here and show the rest of the NHL that they're a force to be reckoned with. Well, you know, they shut out the St. Louis Blues in the first game that they played in this year, so <laughs> uh, payback. <laughs> I don't think the Blues are going to be anywhere close to what they were from last year. They I'm only sorry. have, I think they only have like six wins. Yep. 
So they're not doing great. Have you yeah. seen anything with the Bruins as of yet, or I know they exist. They do exist. I know they've been. No, I've heard. Uh, I've heard the very. <laughs> That's same. what I think of your Celtics. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> this is why we're all here. We're. I'll give you the Kyrie. Oh, treatment. of course. I mean, you know, it sells itself. But no, from what I've heard about the bees, like uh, also the that they've been doing very well. But uh, also the you know, splitting goaltending duties. Um, the goaltenders well, have been great. We yeah. talked about last show, and you know, after said, the last show, they've been doing a lot. I you said Halak may have had a better, better. better uh, start, but I think both of them combined, they've been superb. A+. Plus. And what well, do you think of that going forward? It's just kind of like... Keep mixing and matching. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I mean, like it, not, right? Yeah, I, I like, like it a lot. It keeps keep... everybody fresh. Yeah, why one not? One game here, one game there. I think that's the winning formula, to tell you the truth. Yeah, no, I think that really works that's out what well. They should have done in the What's playoffs? the outlook yeah, ahead here go. for the Bruins? Who's the next game that they got? Ottawa. Okay, that's a Saturday uh, night. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that should be. You know, Ottawa's not doing very well this year either, so I think that should be a fairly easy game. Okay. Um, and then they have Pittsburgh coming into town a couple of days after. Okay. Um, and I think that Pittsburgh's not like they used to have been. Well, it, I mean, they did blow out Philadelphia. <laughs> okay. The Flyers seven to one, yeah. and Philly's been doing well this year, so. Um, you know, it's it's a toss up with it's a fifty fifty shot with uh, Pittsburgh. Cause Who's been um, your biggest surprise so far in the Bruins to start the year? Who's the biggest surprise? It might be a tough question, but we like to throw the tough ones at people. Not me. Um, I'm a good softball guy. Yeah. Connor Clifton. Alone. You like Cliffy? I like Cliffy. What have you liked so much about Cliffy? Um, you know, I wasn't last year when he was playing. You know, I wasn't too sure about his confidence on the ice, his okay. defensive play. Um, but that has certainly improved this year. He's, you know, made some big plays. He's been taking chances. Um, seems like he's been communicating a little better with the, you know, with his line mates. It seems like he gets what it is to be like I an think NHL he understands, player now. I think he understands yeah. the system now, and I think he, he knows what they expect of him in, to be in the NHL. I'm going to go with Brandon Carlo. Uh, he has a guy that just signed a, a nice extension here with the Bruins and everything. I really wanted to see him elevate his game a little bit more. And, of course, the key to him was health. He was a little banged up the past couple of years from stuff, but he, he's a top one stud. I mean, stud I, on defense. I, I mean, I, like I, I want to see him be more of an offensive defenseman, too. Oh, I mean, he got that crazy goal against He did. Jose he did. That's what I, I think, I think Carlo has a bright future, but I'm not going to discount McAvoy. You know, I still think that he's still a little raw. And he still has some things to work on, but I think he's an excellent defenseman, one of the best in in, in the I game. I think he, I think it would have benefited him, uh, you know, a season uh, to play a, a season in the yeah. NHL. Yeah. NHL. Yep. So a Providence but, season. I would agree on that. Uh, they it was a tough decision. Well, we're gonna hope the Bruins keep on rolling, and their next game will be against the Ottawa Senators. Is that at the Garden or yep. is that in Ottawa? It's at the Garden. At the Garden. Hopefully, you can squeeze yourself into those nice, tight new seats they have there and enjoy the game. Oh yeah. I want to go. I want to stay in the garden. I want to stay with the Celtics, and Phil's going to be excited about that. We got a three. Bit, yeah. I'm three excited and, too. <laughs> three and one. Three and one start here yeah. for the year. Surprised or? I uh, no, not surprised. Okay. I mean, I think I, the actually the opening game against Philly, I was surprised that there wasn't. That it was. I mean, I guess I'm not a little bit because it was very sloppy, very weird game. Not a lot. It wasn't very fluid for either team. But uh, I love Philly. I think they're a great matchup, and I think they're a good team. Uh, but, yeah, the seeds have been great. Uh, they're not a good first-half team as of yet. Mm -hmm. I think the only real kind of game where they didn't really blow it up, well, maybe like game one and game two, I guess the first two games, they, the first halves were okay. Okay. But, uh, yeah, go ahead. Hit me with whatever you got. I, I just have to say, I think Tom was probably going to take the words out of my mouth on oh, this, too, but the Celtics just got done with the Milwaukee Bucks, and we know that they're a force in yeah. the Eastern Conference here. And I will be honest, I had my eyes right on the World Series the entire time, and I was like, oh, yeah, they're playing the Bucs, and yeah. whatever, and it comes a loss. Sure, sure. But then, all of a sudden, you go on Twitter. Luckily, I had my account last night. You, know, <laughs> some, 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 you had enough people who hadn't blocked you, yes? Oh, I, I have another I, story. No, well, you, I didn't so. know. I don't know, if you, I don't know if you've heard this one yet. Oh, no, oh, what? Oh, oh, no, no. all right, well, we'll, get to, we'll get to it. We'll get to it, don't oh, you worry. No. But, I can't believe it. I'm looking and I'm like, wow, this is there's a game going on here. And I had other things recorded on my TV, so I'm like, what yeah. am I going to do here? So I flipped it on from my phone. What an exciting game it was against the Bucks. Beautiful game, yeah. They came back from being down, I guess, in the so first like half. And in, actually, into the third, actually, too, like, they were still down. They I were think. still down. I actually uh, got in right uh, like in the third. I 
because I work late, and I was actually working late last night when they played. And I got in the car, and it's like, it was just about halftime. It's like, and they're rattling off, like, oh, they're down by 16. And at one point, they were down by 19. So I'm like, ugh. So I just, at that point, I kind of like, I'm just going to listen to music until yeah. I get home. And I get home, it's like third quarter. I'm like, what is going on? And now they're like down by one. Right. And then they just, uh, you know, they run a couple of plays, and then here we go, we're up by four. And everyone's running around. People are playing defense. Things are going crazy. And uh, all, all I kept hearing great. Fourth early quarter in the was game even better, yeah. was that the only player that would be of any defensive help was Marcus, Marcus Smart. Smart, yeah. Or even offensive and, help. And I kept hearing Don't. people saying, who the heck's going to be, you know, helping out here on the defense side of things? Yeah. Well, clearly something happened during the half. Something was said or something Or something happened, was yeah. done because then you hear about Kemba Walker's amazing performance that he had in the game and Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart. Oh, no, Smart Jason Tatum. Oh, Jason Tatum. Brown yeah. actually wasn't in the game. Oh, not Brown. Brown was got, missing. Brown was no, not there. Not, yeah, I mean, he apparently was sick. Yep. So, I mean, which was another thing that happened, like, right after the shoot-around. Yeah. And kind of even more astonishing. He wasn't in that. But, yeah, no, something happened. And here's the – people will say Mar- it was Marcus Smart's game. I'm not going to say it wasn't. But Jason Tatum, not just offensively, when he – when they all are playing team defense, and I know that's a cliche, but – when Tatum has his hands up, and he's got quite a, uh, quite a reach, he was hitting balls everywhere. He didn't steal, like, all the time, but he was breaking up plays. Like, passing lanes were just, you couldn't get anything by him. So do you great. think that we can continue to see more of that out of Tatum? Or is this a one-time kind of no, thing? No, I, I think, like, you just, it's like anything else in, like, professional sports. You need that one time to snap people out of it. I think he's... Uh, he's a rocket ship, man. He's about to... So something snapped yeah. with him? I think, yeah, like, I think that's exactly. It's like, it's like Coyle. He got his first goal like a few games ago, and then he Maybe just scored been. another one against San that's Jose. A good point. So. Well, that's no, a good I, point. I, I didn't think, think of it that way. No, I think it really... Yeah, bring the Bruins in, explain all the Celtic stuff. We'll get it Get it. You going. know, hey, working you know. minds. We work together. Uh, we got this... No, you know, but it's true. This. It's that whole... Once you get that spark going, and I think Gordon Hayward, too, I think everyone was having fun. And I think... And I, I say fun. It was a product of them working hard on both ends. And even when you put Jalen Brown back in there, you have more rebounding because he's a great rebounder as well. Yes, he he's is. a good defender. Uh, he can he can get better. He's like they all have this crazy reach. Like and I mean like physically, they're like their arms like clogging up passing lanes. It's going to be tough. They're going to be a tough out for anybody. How does Gordon Hayward look so far? He happy pretty, with what he looks like? Uh, he looked pretty good at the uh, end of the game last night. He looked decent in New York and even in times with Toronto. And I think he's I think he's going to get a little better. You think he looks healthy? I think it looks, yes. Okay. I think one of the move, uh, I think it was last night, he had like an under the, the rim kind of, yeah, it actually was last night, a layup, I don't know, if, did you watch as well? But you might, did you see past the third? No, maybe, you had maybe stuff going bits on. and pieces. He took Brooke, uh, Brooke Lopez up to the top of the key, or a three-pointer, brought him back down, went like north-south, mm-hmm. and just like did like kind of a, a, a double like clutch from one part of the basket to the other part underneath layup. And he was moving, like, the way he moved his body underneath that, like, oh, that's a guy who isn't afraid. And it's like, I think that's part of... That's a good sign, then. Oh, yeah. That's I, what you need to see. Yeah, no, him. exactly. Yeah. I think from all yeah. your players, you need to... And I think you yeah. saw a lot of no fear. And I don't mean that in a stupid way, like, oh, they're doing taking stupid shots. I mean, oh, they don't have a fear to, like, really go up and put their nose-to-nose against a team like the Bucks, who also screwed themselves a little bit. Do you think that the Celtics are buying into this whole thing that we're going to be a much better team without some of the trouble that could have been from last year without Kyrie and... I mean, I think they have to. I think okay. that's part of what they are doing to make the Locker room chemistry is a little better now. Yeah, I, I think inherently there's going to be a weight is lifted off the shoulder because you don't have this weird grandpa. <laughs> like, or this weird, like, you know, and Kyrie is a phenomenal player. And if he ever learned just to... Is he? Keep yeah, his atti- no, I think he's... Keep his attitude under the blank, under yeah, the covers. I mean, even, but if... Listen, if he, uh, like, if everyone played together and he played, uh, he played pretty decently in the playoffs. They were like, actually, game one and game two, he played pretty well. And he did hustle a bit in that Milwaukee series. But you know what? Like, it just didn't, he wasn't making shots. And when he makes shots, you know, everything goes away. So whenever you're playing well, everything kind of, it doesn't matter. But, you know, yeah, he's a phenomenal player. Uh, Kemba, though, is, is not a bad, like, he's like a, uh, I don't want to say Kyrie Light because he's his own guy, and he can get you those points. He might not be the person who invokes that much fear in people, but last night, like high pick and rolls with uh, with Tice, and he was he was just like he got a clean look, shooting. He had like two or three threes with like that high pick and roll. Kemba is more of a teammate. He's more of a person that's going Seems to good. help everybody else around them be better. I don't know if Kyrie, he's going to pass it all the time, but Kyrie, he'll get there. 
we know was not that player. I want to transition into my little oh, story yeah, yeah, sure, about sure. my Twitter incident. Oh, no. So I'm going to go out there and say, first and foremost, that I think Kyrie is one of the most selfish, most disliked players that's really ever played in the Boston market. I'm going to go out there on a limb and say that. That's bold, yeah. Um, oh, what, what are you going to I'm also no? going yeah. to <laughs> yeah, add that I think that he is a psychopath that um, does not have something wired properly in his mind. Yeah. I'm going to say that just fully out there Well, right did you now. consult your numerologist before you did. came to this? I did. All right, good. So before the season started, they're doing all these matchups with stuff and, you know, getting ready for the season and all. And um, see a bunch of these media people just sending these Kyrie videos about, oh, yeah, he's doing the opening talk about oh, pumping up the crowd Brooklyn, yeah, and everything. Yeah. And a bunch of people are out there calling him a fraud and all that kind of stuff, which I liked those instantly because that was wonderful. Sure. But I, I put out a message there, and it had the Brooklyn Nets and Kyrie were tagged in it. Oh, and no. um, I went out and I said, uh, good luck on the season. I hope you break a leg. Ugh. And I got thrown into Twitter jail for that. And I just got to say. Well, what is Twitter jail per se? You they, just... they throw you. They, you're not allowed to tweet or like or anything oh, for about 12 hours you. of time. Oh, so you. I think Kyrie or the Brooklyn Nets didn't obviously like what I had or to someone. say. You know, well, the weird thing is, like, it what, have to if be I was them, being sarcastic, I was. But I, so he, if, he texts me, he's like, leg. I need some bail money. I'm like, what? Uh, I text Tom, I go, can you bail me out of jail? And people are like, what? Um, well, that's pretty. Oh my god. Well, I mean, it's not a. He is from such you, coming a, from you. Who he's knows? such you a are. sensitive diva. I, mean, I don't think. Un- you think he heard or saw that or had anything? Could have. Yeah, I guess. Well, you've also been like you've probably been, been anyone. reported by. Like, I have a ton been. Of people. I, people just hate <laughs> well, how me many? Like, yeah, sure. But you. I, I have mean, another person. No, don't put it like that. I people have another. Just, I had another do? person blocked me last night. The MLB Umpires Association has blocked me now too. Like what the hell? Well, I don't understand how. <laughs> what the hell? How much of a nuisance are you? Like if I <laughs> guess so. I mean, I don't. Like if I told Joe West that he needs to stop eating the donuts and start focusing on making the calls. Yeah. Like, come on. Oh, weird. That's not too bad. I mean, that's like. That's a, not. It's legit. It just uh, people just get wasted. The guy's a waddling penguin out there on yeah. a baseball diamond. I mean, yeah, that's their kind of. Listen, the. You gotta stop fat shaming the umpires. They've been, My they've been getting, they've been getting on the treadmill the past. Another two years. lady, I, I found um, out, I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I follow Portnoy with his barstool stuff, yeah. and a, and somebody from Deadspin to blocked fair, me he's yesterday kind of too. I'm not this Laura, lie. Laura, somebody from Deadspin blocked me, and she just got fired. Oh. Oh, yeah, Deadspin itself is clearing house, aren't oh, my, And she blocked me. She blocked all the well, people who follow Barstool. Cool, uh, little old me over here. Little old you. Yeah, all right. Little old you. The umpires associate. Now, that, that was... That is weird. I mean, it's all weird that the block... I mean, I understand if you're, like, constantly hounding someone. And David Price still and, follows me, which is odd. Cause well, you empower him. <laughs> I, I you must. Him, I must. You're like his little, like, totem. Like if I, you, I was responsible though for Dustin Pedroia deleting his Twitter account. I do know. How I, do you know that? Oh well, he's he was he's the little leader. What do you mean? Like he, oh, that's another that's another chapter. Did you make like a, 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 a like a short joke at his expense? It's I fine. I, I don't think I did, but well, I don't have to go the back little and you, well, you throw a little leader at me. I could write could... a book on my history though. I mean, I'm not a bad person. But I mean, clearly they think I am when I do my messages. I mean, I'm sure you're. We live in this PC. Everybody gets offended. Offended little thing. No, it's little not. Thing. A, it's just. A you don't matter. think it is? I mean, I think it's just like littlest things get a, people. Like, I think some people can get kind of crazy reactionary to things, but oh I also think you press buttons all the time. I like love literally, it. I absolutely. And love you it. like trying to sit back, but saying I mean, like, "Dude, what did I? What, what did I do? But, what did but, I do?" But you know, everybody yeah. says, "Go break a leg," you know, or I hope you know. Well, that's what you say when someone's in theater. Yeah, but you so, clearly like. Well, he is in theater. Yeah, but. But you as well, the theater of the absurd. Because what did you preface it? What did you say? What was the whole message? I said, good luck in the season, my friend. Hope, hope you break a leg. Hope you break a leg. Yeah. I mean, it clearly. <laughs> like, if you just Wouldn't even that look, have been wonderful, though? If he broke his leg? Absolutely. I mean, it would be horrible for basketball. <laughs> but, um, no, honestly, him on the court is more interesting than him I already the heard that he's caused admit. so much controversy within that locker room so far that they despise him already. Well, no, that's the uh, conspiracy. I don't know if you heard that report. The Jackie yeah. McMullen. But that yeah. actually was taken out of context. A lot of that is kind of weirdly taken is out of context yeah. from her article. Yeah. But I'm sure that I believe Jackie Mack. No, yeah. but I, and she wasn't necessarily trying to throw him under the bus. It's yeah. just a matter of, like, 
So we know that. Maybe she told him to break a leg, too. We don't know that. I do love Jackie McMullen. I do. I think she's a wonderful... She's she's excellent. Tall drink of water. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Like, I was at an airport, uh, actually coming back from L.A., I think it was the All-Star game was happening years ago. And I remember she was just coming back. And uh, Forsberg was there as well. And his hair looked brilliant. He looks like but, um, um, uh, Jimmy Neutron. Remember that show? He kind of does. He Neutron does. Yeah. Boy, that, that, new, yep. that show. Listen, yeah. say what you want. Yeah. Uh, everyone has a great looking pocket square yeah. on these NBA uh, shows. Uh, no, uh, For, uh, Forsberg actually, he's a homer, a less annoying homer. Kyle I mean, Draper's a homer too. He is. I, yes. I can't believe you don't like him. I was thinking about that last That's night. That's not a don't like him. I just don't no, like, you don't his like his announce. His you don't like. Oh, his announcing. Oh, I loved it. Oh, it's beautiful. I love when they do a new I'd rather hear. I'd rather hear Gary Tangway. Oh, I do love him. He, but he's got the pipes. Yeah. As, as much as he he's does. kind of a, a, a kind of nebbish weirdo, mm-hmm. he well, has like, hey. Like, speak, speaking of like weird announcements, oh, no, um, sorry. they're, they're um, you know, auditioning for the new PA announcer at the Garden. Oh, yeah. really? And the guy that did the San Jose game hmm. was god-awful. I don't San know if Jose? you watched the game at all, but he was... Go- that he was John Mita Perel. You couldn't hear really? him. Really? Mita was doing yeah. it. Yeah. You couldn't hear him on the speaker. He does the BC uh, broadcast. That was Mita Perel. And he used to be on WEI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't hear him. He used to be the Flash guy. Yeah, You couldn't hear his voice on the TV. Oh, weird. Mita. Mita. Well, they had Sarge from 98.5 do it once. Oh, okay. Um... And this was for in the, in the uh, yeah, in Jim, uh, Jim because the something. original guy did the home opener for the Bruins and then he retired. Oh wow! Jim How Martin long? retired. That's his name. Jim, Jim Martin. Martin. How long had he been? You know, the, you know the guy goes Boston Bruins go scored by my number or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that guy. Oh, wow. um, and he did the C's. Thirty games too, plus right? years, I think, maybe forty years. Wow. No, yeah, he think... did not do the C's. Oh, he didn't game. do C's. All right. No. So he no. did. Wow. Even back to the original Garden. Yeah, I think so. Because they got that guy was ninety three yeah. yeah. or ninety two, I think they, or maybe ninety four. I know well, that's I'm another sorry. topic too. But, yeah, but the whole thing with uh, Renee, with I must say that I don't miss Renee. No, I like the guy that they pick. Yeah, I like him. Todd Angeli, we have a his, oh, his, one of his kids participates in a, in our oh, sports program cool. from Winfield. So, so you're obligated little, to yeah. Well, we're obligated to like. No, yeah, just kidding, Todd. We like you. Um, I just I. He knows how to light up a crowd better than I think what Renee. Renee's was like a just Renee been did, there, done that. Renee did it, but uh, I think he did it for a little too long. Yeah, yeah. He when, does weddings. Now, I mean, apparently, uh, he's the wedding singer. Yeah, yeah. he's a little yeah. bit, a little bit. Yeah, but I think I think that's been a great addition there for yeah. Berlin yeah. and everything too. I just hope they find um, someone. That's it's amazing how we got into all of this with Kyrie. Look oh. what you did, Kyrie! <laughs> yeah. Look what you did! It's all your <laughs> fault, Kyrie. Well, I mean, I wanted to make a point I too. Yeah. I wanted to make a point too um, after the Philly game. I mean. Oh, with the, 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 the difference between yeah, the difference between that game and the other three games is they scored over 110 points. Yeah, in the other the, you know the three games that they've won. Yeah, yeah. I think they could come back and uh, play a good game against Philly. So, I do you so. like how the team looks right now? Uh, I'll tell Are you they this. a winning team? Are they I a think playoff they, team? All I, I think they're definitely Taco playoff. Fall, baby. Taco, Taco Fall. <laughs> I do love Taco Fall, but I do love uh, the Williams brothers. Well, they're not brothers. Uh, I better stop before I dig a hole. Robert Williams. Robert Williams and Grant Williams. Grant Williams, yes. Because um, the Williams sisters, all I want to do is like bring Serena and Venus into this. But uh, no. Uh, take your racket and Take your racket. <laughs> which I saw them play at the, uh, at, saw her, Serena, at the open. But she kind of. should hit Kyrie. Well, I mean, she choked. She, I mean, like Kyrie, she, Kyrie, she choked. Is he the net? <laughs> yeah. I mean, he might have been there. He might have. And he might have broke Yeah, away. Kyrie, stand here. We'll fix it. Yeah, you. yeah. But no, uh, Grant Williams, a rookie from, I think, no, not Kentucky. I forget where he's from. Uh, but Name sounds he's uh, great. He's a, uh, he's a, uh, and uh, I want to see time, more of Edwards, time too. Lord. I want to see more of Edwards. Oh, Carson Edwards. Carson yep. Edwards. He's a he, great guy up the he, bench. He's yeah. a splasher, I'll tell you that. Well, New York, the Knicks game, he was hitting them pretty well. He's been, no, he's been noted for that. And, and I, I thought Toronto, too. I actually like that pick more than the in the second round that I did the first round pick with Williams. You know tell what? You the truth. That's no. That's I like that's the Carson fair, Edwards pick he's a more, scorer. much more. He's like an IT like classic yep. scorer. I think he could be app. better. I know how JJ Redick has his big three moments and stuff oh, like that. Oh yeah, sure. I think he has much more potential to be a better option than JJ Redick has yeah. been in his career. That's yeah. how I look at that kind of. No, I, I too. that's not that assessment's pretty spot on. I think he's a great guy uh, to take off the bench or if someone. If Kemba goes down, you know, knock on whatever. 
Uh, you have Carson that cannot. Yeah, exactly. Or just, you know, to spot any minutes. Yeah. Who's next for the Celtics? They go against the Knicks again. We were talking about that earlier okay. on uh, Friday. Which is like, you know, the Knicks, you know, they're not a good team. But it's like... Yeah, Worst owner happens. in sports, I've heard. Yeah, that's what everyone seems to agree with. And I guess, like, they screwed themselves out of getting Kyrie. I mean, sure. they, they kind of, like... Everything was kind of set for Kyrie and uh, Durant to go to the Knicks. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, well, what are you, you going to do? I'll tell you one thing. It's not going to work with Brooklyn. It's just not going to work there. I mean, it might. Maybe Durant comes back and everything. Do you want it to work? No, of course I don't. I but, don't <laughs> but, like, knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. <laughs> you know, break a leg and all. But it just, See, uh, he said it too. He said it well, too. No, I meant for yeah. us. Oh. Um, and not on Twitter. Oh. Well, I guess uh, not. I guess I have to find another yeah, platform. Yeah, even where worse. You said it on camera. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's true. Well, actually, I think the shot was on him. So who knows where it came from? Oh, now it's back on me. Well, we, we hope mm -hmm. that uh, the Celtics continue on their hot streak against yeah. the Knicks on Friday night. Yeah. Um, and the other news in the NBA, which I think we do need to talk about, which is noteworthy, is um, Steph Curry breaking his hand. Oh, he did? I didn't he even hear that. He broke his hand. When did last night? That or? came out last night, report. Um, oh, wow. How long is he? That's a good question. I was going to ask you guys if you're medical experts and all. <laughs> oh, you know, sure how am. long a broken hand takes to recover from? You see, this is a season-ending long injury, or is this Oh, a... I could see that. It, I mean, it's I basketball. Think it depends on the so, extremity of it. Yeah. And um, he's a that's shooter. That's a blow for that team. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, because it's him and, you know, the Splash Brothers. Yeah. I mean, Sam. Because I know, I know in hockey it takes about four to six weeks for recovery. And, but, yeah, with, you don't necessarily need everything in that hand either right. for hockey. Right. If, I, if I were Curry, well. I'd, blame, I'd blame it on uh, Kyrie. Absolutely. <laughs> sure. I would, I would, I would, if we could have a graphic that just has like a Kyrie. Like, I would love that. I need to get one of those gifts that we says can. blame it on Kyrie. I would, we, say, I would say probably like. Oh, that would be wonderful. Three to four try. months maybe. I think Minimum. Right. Yeah, I, that sucks. Because I, I think it, it might be half of the season for him. If it's, depend, like Tom says, depending on the severity of it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, he's. I mean, I, I think you're. Are you as big of. I always take you. I, I don't mind. I, I like Kyrie. Yeah. I've never had an issue with him. I think he's a good player. I um, actually like Curry better than Durant. Oh, yeah? I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because uh, Durant will go wherever? Is that kind of a thing? Uh, I don't see. Uh, yeah, Durant likes to, you know, go, go here and there. Yeah. He likes to, you know, one, one day of the week it's this one, and then one day of the next week it's sure. this one. It's, it's a flavor of the month club for him. Car Curry's more of a, a, a franchise build around player. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they won well, one without him. That was Golden State's plan. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, him and uh, Clay Thompson. And I hope they stay in Golden State. Yeah. And Green. I mean, those are the three uh, pillars of, of your whole uh, franchise, really. So we'll see how that happens with the hand injury. I'm no yeah, sucks, medical man. expert here, but it seems like that's going to be a while for uh, no curry there for uh, the Golden State Warriors. But we'll keep you posted if we hear any news. Definitely uh, check Zion. it out and see what happens with that. Him and Zion Williams. They were down big right? at, against Phoenix uh, last Usually night. Usually in the game. fall, we typically start out a program with the Patriots, but mm. it's kind of like, you know, win, repeat, win, repeat, win, mm. repeat. Not that we're getting tired of that, but I wanted to go with Bruins and Celtics to start with first. I think now's a good time to kind of transition to the football mode here. And, uh, again, status quo here for the Patriots. Uh Great game on Sunday for them. The weather was really crappy. Well, two but, great, great games because, you know, we, oh, the last we haven't time, been yeah. here. Oh, we have, we have not done the Jets game, and we did not do uh, the Browns game. Yeah. So the Jets game, I thought, was the biggest laugh fest I've ever seen in my life. But it didn't have a butt fumble in it, folks. So well, that might have been the only... It had something even better. It had three... It had a Bill Belichick smirk. It did. <laughs> when yeah. he, did you see that at the end did, when he yeah. just got... Oh, Take a, take a penalty, back it up. Oh, take yeah. another penalty, back it up. Kick, done. Um, I know it's been seeming like these, what are we, it's 8 no we are right now. These first eight games is, you yeah. know, the Staples button, boom, that was easy. Yeah. Is that a bad thing? No. You don't think so? No. You don't think it gets you into bad habits when it leads to, now we're in the tough stretch here, guys. Well, now we got the Ravens, a bye. The Philly, uh, Phil, uh, Philadelphia Eagles, yeah. the Cowboys, Houston Texans, Chiefs. then Chiefs. I don't. Um, you don't think it does? No, okay. because I think if it was going to get us into bad habits, I think I don't think they would have shut out the Jets. Okay, that's a good um, point. I, I I feel like you know the the touchdown against Cleveland was kind of a fluke touchdown. I mean, the touchdown that Cleveland scored was a fluke touchdown. 
Which one? Uh, the one where Dante Hightower didn't know what the route was. And oh, yeah, just he let got, the receiver yeah, yeah. Okay. walk right into the end zone. Oh, I think, yeah, he got, yeah. Um, it was on, not on Winslow, or their tight end or whatever. Yeah, it was their tight end, uh, one of the tight ends. It was like a wheel Clifford, route, weirdly, Clifford or yeah. something, whatever his name is. Who do you have more faith in right now at if you're down and you need a quick score? Do you have more faith right now in the offense going out there and getting the points or the defense? I mean, I, the, I think if you need a drive, you'll be able to get it. But I mean, it's been very bizarre because the defense has been scoring almost on par or more than you've scored in the past couple games. What do you think? You have Tom Brady at the helm. I think it could go either way, really. Yeah. Um, I mean, like Phil said, I, I mean, if you look at games in the past where we've needed a game-winning drive. You get it. You get it no matter what because, you know, it's, I mean, we, we have gotten lucky a couple times where, like, you know, we should have scored a touchdown and then the defense would come in and get a turnover. One of the things that – Or a, a punt that just got uh, – Yeah, or gets, yeah. you know, kick your own, def, you know, lineman in the back of the back. And, <laughs> yeah, back of the back. Back in the head and, yeah. you know, let, get it blocked. Over the years, we have come out – I don't know, we've had many guests on the program from time to time – come out and make bold statements that sometimes are true, not so true, or tell you some sort of a prediction, and sometimes it's right, sometimes it's wrong. I feel in the past year with our predictions on some of these things, we've been very right, especially us three in general with a lot of these things. Um, I don't <laughs> want to be right on this me. prediction, folks, but I unfortunately am going to say that if the Patriots continue the way that they're going, I don't like the way that the offense looks right now. And it's not because of Brady. It's because of your offensive line. I am concerned that there are, are too many holes right now to fill that somebody is going to get hurt. I don't know who that's going to be. I don't know what's going to happen from it. But they're a hit away from or a sack or something happening where something drastic could happen and it might not look so pretty. I, I feel like... They need to fix it. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying that the way it looks right now, you do not have enough depth on that offensive line or your interior unit that's right there that is going to get the job done when you face a Chief or you face a Ravens or if you face somebody that might be a tougher caliber I, I feel like, opponent. I feel like... I feel Am like I wrong? Fairly, I feel like out of the next, like, what, five or six, whatever games it is, I think Philly has the, uh, the toughest defensive, uh, defensive end line or defensive line. Okay. Um... I mean, I don't know if you heard, but J.J. Watt's out for the season. I did hear about that. So I don't think I'm not concerned on Houston. Um, but I think Philly's going to be the toughest defensive line to get. I am. I got to tell you, I am concerned in this Ravens game coming up. Yeah, sure. Because the Ravens have been notorious over the years for being a dirty, rotten, scummy team. Well, it, they'll they'll play a rock fight, and also they're the number one running team in the league. Correct. So if like in our defense, here's a big hole that 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 we kind of vaguely know now, like. When people run and they have good running, you know, if you have a big, it seems like we're like a linebacking core that's kind of uh, not built wide, for but speed. yeah, exactly, built for speed and for hitting. But if you have like these sumo guys, like it seems like Cleveland had a line that was almost like all sumo, mm -hmm. pushing them well, around a bit. Yeah. They're gonna have to change the defensive scheme of the, the game four, of yeah. the game because you know they've been doing all these blitz plays and the zero. Zero, yeah. See, I don't. I don't think the Ravens are going to be throw, throwing. Uh, I think well, they're going to be a run heavy. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why. That's why yeah. I think you need. They need to change the like you know, a four the three, right? Scheme and like, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the defenders from the Patriots, Hightower, Van Noy, somebody takes out Lamar Jackson in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Well, as far I as think, it I, just hurts his leg. Does oh. some? You mean I'm, intentionally? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I'm just saying in a play, by, in, oh, in just, a play oh, of enough. some sorts. Because oh, because he's going to be running around. I've just seen well, examples Chubb, of that. Chubb like, really opened up like the biggest, you know, on the biggest weakness of the the free blitz or the zero, whatever, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, and I think that they're going to change the game plan because they know that Lamar Jackson is going to run. He's going to yeah. I don't think that they're going to allow that to happen because I think the evidence that they just saw with Chubb. Yeah. I think that's going to correct some things because now they're going into this planning ahead of time knowing, okay, we have a hole in our defense here a little bit. Let's clean this up so we're 
you know, yeah. protected. Well, I mean, if it wasn't for Jonathan Jones, Chubb yeah. wouldn't have fumbled the ball. That is correct. That, yeah. that hammer right I mean, in there. Yeah, got the, it out. The, the funniest thing of that, you know, the funniest thing of the Cleveland game was his own offensive lineman or tight end or whatever kicked the ball out of his hand. Kick the ball out of his hands. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> funny. Or the actually, or the pitch right to our the pitch. Uh, uh, did Lawrence anything Canada. else in those games stand out to you? Because there's one thing that we're not, we haven't talked about yet that we know there will be a change of come Sunday. I mean, oh, the kicker. Yeah, the kicker. Yeah. So Nugent was released. I was yep. bring we just up. had the trade deadline here in the NFL, and wow, I think I slept right through that. Because the biggest move did. was Aqib Talib going to where? Who's on IR? Going yeah. to Miami, right? Miami or I whatever. It was. Oh no, it was. Yeah. Was it Miami? Yeah, it was yeah. Miami. Yeah, the no, Rams I was just shaking my head like, oh, like, wow. it was. Yeah. It was probably was it. the worst deadline but, thing I've ever seen. But they had like plenty of moves like the week before. But yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, like, like the Patriots day. getting Sanu and everything like that. Jalen Ramsey yeah, going Jam to Ramsey. Ramsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know he'll be mad in two weeks and just won't play, right? Sure, of course. But. The kicking situation is something that definitely needs to be discussed because I wasn't such a big fan of when Nugent came here anyways. Mm-hmm. But is the question really like is the question really the the kicker or is it the long snapper or is it the holder? Because there have been some kicks that have been like pretty awkward where they, you know, should have definitely went I don't through. think the kicker's been lined up the right way. That's what I think it is because your your snapper, whoever it is, it's the same person who's been there for years. Yeah, I forget who that is though. I, I, you're asking the wrong. Actually, guy. you know what? No, I think actually you're onto something, Tom. It is our new kicker. The new kicker is the punt holder. Who's that? What's that? What's oh, the Bailey? Kicker? Bailey. Yeah, Bailey. Bailey oh, is the you're holder. Right. You're right, Tom. Oh, and he's been it's holding it. Point. Yeah, I think it, because Lace is... Uh, it's well, the Lace has been man. out, but, yeah. like, it hasn't, you know, I saw on some of the replays where they've shown, like, oh, like, oh, they missed, like, wide or whatever. Like, hmm. you know, the, how they do the close-up of, like, the hold. Yeah, yeah. Like, the ball just doesn't... That point. The ball doesn't look, you know, like, it looks correct. awkward. Yeah. yeah. So the Patriots uh, ended up signing Nick Falk. Nick Falk is famous for being with the Jets. He has distance on his there, resume. Yeah. But if you remember, it might have been three years ago when the Patriots were playing the Buccaneers. Like two or three years ago. It was ago, a Thursday yeah. night football game, and it was, in my opinion, the worst football game I think I've ever seen the Patriots win, mm-hmm. where he missed four kicks in the game. Ugh. That's the guy that is now your kicker here. It's your dude. I don't feel so great about that. The last kick that he made was in the AFL. Oh, yeah? Was it a miss? or? Probably. Yeah. Probably. I don't know why. See, I, I felt a little bit, I f- still, to this day right now, feel more comfortable with the Mike Nugent versus Nick Falk. So something had to have gone on for Nugent to be released. What it was, I don't oh. know. What well, do you I mean, suggest? Some sort of scandal? Did he break a leg? I, well. With all the yeah. drama that's been going yeah. on in the, on the Patriots Maybe team, Kyrie like, yeah. showed up in the locker room. <laughs> and had hey, what's up, Here we go again. What's up? How many numbers? No, like, Kyrie like, called him and, and said, and hey, Tony, bro, you need to leave the Patriots. No, no, Antonio yeah. Brown called him up and was like, hey, listen. Let's make it happen. I would be okay if Antonio Brown returned right now. You would? Absolutely. Why? Because we don't have much depth on the wide receiver chart. Sure, but Satan Anything incarnate to make, wouldn't whatever, help. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Satan can... Kiss my blank. Right. So, well, there's, I mean, the blank is the place that Satan would kiss. <laughs> but uh, no, I sure. I mean, would but Antonio Brown is a great talent. But do you, don't you think he'd be like a Kyrie? At this point, like yeah. as a can like a real. At this like, point, I think he would. He would tear apart that. I would look at whatever makes Brady happy. I think people were grinding their teeth. I think when he, he was liked. There. I think he likes Sanu though. I mean, he tried to get he to does, him a couple times early. In but the I do game. know that Brady is super frustrated right now with the personnel moves that have been made this season. Sure, like Gordon. in and out. There's Gordon I mean, here. There's no Brown. Yeah, you have a. What's his name with the Jets? Demarius Thomas oh, Demarius here. Thomas. Yeah. He says he's coming, then he's going, then he's coming, now he's gone. Blah, blah, blah. Like, there's, sure. there's been a lot of, uh, you know, the tight ends have been released left and right. Well, yeah. And then picked back up again, yeah. get hurt. Yeah. But, I mean, this is signed. kind of, but this is business as usual for this team. Not, maybe a little, not maybe a little as, crazier. Not I think as much as it has it, been. It's, it's been, been a, a circus, worse. I think. And I think Brady is a little fed up it's with it. It's been a rotating door of tight ends and, and wide so receivers. And so that's why I think there are yeah. some people who are trying to put a story. I don't think it's much of a story that's saying, oh, Brady may not want to come back next year. I mean, he might he not. wants to go and play for another team. Or he might, you know. So I, I let's speculate. Retired, I don't know. like to speculate because I'm not a big gossip fan. I yeah. like the facts. 
That's why this show is called Face the Facts, not Gossip the Facts. But anyways. I don't know if that would be correct either. It probably might not be. Because grammatically. But <laughs> we do know that there have been reports that say that Brady is contemplating leaving at the end. Are you guys okay with that if that happens? Because I'll just say I'm not. Like, if he goes and goes to another team, I'm going to be pissed. Mm. No? I'm fine. I'm, I'm indifferent. I mean, the only thing that I would be... Yeah, he'll like, be a 43-year-old quarterback, but well, wouldn't you want to see him finish his legacy and his career with the team that he's I'd been here? I'd rather him retire. Sure. Get, yeah, I would, too. I'd rather him retire. I mean, it, you know, if he get, it would get us another <laughs> ring, I wouldn't... But, like, my only concern would be who would be our starting quarterback. Stidham. Stidham. But are you comfortable with him? We don't know what he is yet. What are you going to do? I mean, we've seen... The last evidence you saw of someone else stepping in and being a quarterback without zero experience, really, was Matt Castle. Well, I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo. A little bit. See, again, I understand Garoppolo's winning and everything there. I haven't seen enough. I'm sorry. I still haven't. But he was... uh, The case in point, he was here and he did fill in. I mean, Matt Castle did a whole season, sure. Right. But Garoppolo was here for... You know, he, time I do think Garoppolo has talent. I'm not yeah. saying he doesn't. Huh? I'm not saying Garoppolo doesn't have talent. I just I need to see more. No, I know, what you, I know what you mean. You want more of a sample. I mean, you got eight. You got eight. The games dude hasn't right even now. been to the playoffs yet. So I mean, sure. I mean, he has. For but the he's Patriots, played eight but games. Not. Let's see season. what he does during he the playoffs. Played four games last season. He played five games with the Patriots. <laughs> Like is like, who I knows? This season's so young that everything's going so well. You're holding back because you don't like the trade with the 49ers. The trade. No, I, it's a, I wouldn't say I don't like... I, no, it's not because of that. All right. It's because even if he was playing with the Jets or whatever other oh, team it yeah, is, yeah, yeah, I'd I mean, still say the same. Well, he played... I I, it's not the team. He I, played, I like, what? Two full games with the Patriots and got hurt? Uh, uh, two or three. Four. Or Something three. like or that. Three. Everybody was calling him the next Brady. No, like, but... Like, put the freaking brakes on. Sure. But, I mean, I, the point was that he was a decent quarterback who Bill groomed. And it's pretty. Cl- he would have been a great backup he would have to been, keep until Brady retired, and then he would have been the next quarterback. There you, it's kind of like that whole. And you know, I think we Brett do know Carr, that Bill Aaron wanted thing. wanted Garoppolo oh, to be course. the next person after I Brady. Think, Absolutely, we know clear, that. Right? So, but like, if you think about it, if he was with the Jets, you wouldn't see as much as you do now with when he's with the 49ers. That is true, and we probably hate his guts. Yeah, and we neither. Well, like we'd Kyrie. probably be laughing our, you know, what's off, like you Kyrie know, or Blanks, play yes. the Jets. Yes. But, yeah. but fumbles could be happening more and more then. I mean, you know, once in a great generation. So, you have a I like what I've books. seen so far. Yes, they're undefeated, the 49ers. It would be pretty cool if it was a 49er Patriots Super Bowl. I, yeah, you never know. But where Brady might go, there was speculation that he's interested in some part in Southern California. The only yeah. other teams I know of, the 49ers aren't going to get rid of Garoppolo. No. Was it Phillip Rivers going to go home? Go home to his... Family of 13, 14, whatever it is. How many kids? Yeah. He's got a whole clan. Yeah. He's got a Take the Beverly Hillbillies guy. at that place. Yeah. Actually, the Beverly Hillbillies didn't have a uh, lot of people. It no, was they didn't? Like, no. It was oh. like four or five. Maybe it's the Brady that. Bunch is more like it. Brady or Bunch, yeah, yeah, times like two yeah. or three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, really. The Rivers like Bunch. <laughs> the Rivers, oh, man. That's He's got like 28 kids. That's the became the Rivers Bunch. He's worse than Sean Kemp. But I know that's the joke. Sean Kemp. Who's Sean that? Kemp. Oh, my. Well, you know, let me put on my old man hat. He played for the Seattle Supersonics, and he has about uh, signed uh, like uh, the record holds uh, eighty four kids. He doesn't seriously. Have, he has not. He doesn't oh. have eighty four kids. I'm gonna have but, to. Wick, I'm gonna have to wiki him. Yeah, you're kinda, No, he has. He's famous. But Maybe the I'll tweet joke, him. I'll block him. Yeah, he's famously. Oh, he did welcome it. I'm yeah. sure the attention. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, Rivers. He's a weird dude. But, yeah, do you think Brady would go to uh, the Chargers? And the only other team I can think of out there is, is the Chargers. Who else is out in California? I mean, the, would he go to New York, Rams, too? No, Chargers, he does not want to go to the, you know, no. The, go to Buffalo. Oakland, the, the Raiders the are moving Raiders. to Vegas. Oh. What is it? Rams, Chargers, Ra- get Raiders, Goff. They're not going to get rid of Goff. Yeah. No. And, uh, Tennessee Titans, maybe. But I don't know if they'll it. go. No. Well, well, that's a Brable's team, so that, that is, could yeah. be a possibility. No, I mean... I, I, I think he's here, folks. I mean, I, I just don't see the logic on it. So, yeah. um, Anyways, the Patriots will be playing the Ravens this upcoming Sunday. Uh, that game is a... I think it's a later start. It's, it's a night guy, nighttime yeah. game, so... 
it's okay <laughs> though because we get an extra hour of sleep upcoming and i can't wait for that oh is that this weekend yeah it is this weekend oh wow. so we turn the clocks uh, back back yeah we turn them back so the farmers have done the back. last you thing i want to mention is i love it when i am right 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 the Washington Nationals did end up winning the World Series, I mean, I and said I am. Win too, but yeah, I thought we all were in agreement. <laughs> He's, you maybe, know, maybe, just maybe sweeping right. us so, under the rug. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> no, I, I honestly forget what I. I think. I think you and I both said that I don't like, we think wouldn't it's be surprised ever been done. Astros and Yankees are one. Where a team. Yeah. yeah, I think that's what. Loses. No, that's the first time it happened in here. All of their home games. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. And then yeah. on the road goes and wins this series by winning all four of the games on the road. First time it's, it's happened. Crazy. Incredible. Amazing. And the Astros yeah. had the best home record in baseball yeah. this year. 60 games. Un won. Incredible. Yeah. And they're a crazy good team. Crazy well, not, talented. Not only do it in that, you know, that fashion, but to also, like, beat them by, you know, four-plus runs, I think, every game. Yeah. Easily. It I think the runs. best piece of karma that's come out of this whole thing with the Nationals winning is that it happened without Bryce Harper? Oh right, was he on like injured the whole year? No, he was. No, he, he's no, in he, Philly. He, he's he in Philly. That's right. That's he right. He pieced last year. Yeah, he the big contract. He told right? he told during the press conference Just though that he was going to get DC a championship though. Oh, and, and he, he screwed up. Well, no, he did technically by leaving. He did. Yeah. So he everybody did, kept replaying that press conference yeah. last night. Like Bryce, you were right. How about that? <laughs> But uh, there were a couple people who were trying, I'm not going to say who it was, but who were trying to do the whereabouts and, and uh, locations of where Harper was last night. A couple oh. people were concerned that he was crying at home under his head, with his head shoved under a pillow. I mean, he might have been. I mean, that's, he, <laughs> he ruined it. I mean, he's with Philly now, which has Jerome. Yeah, uh, the Jerome. wellness check yeah. still hasn't been, I mean, we don't yeah. know. He did, give, he did give them that home run derby win that was in, uh, when they hosted it. Woo! But, I mean, and then, you know, a he plus. gave them a World Series by leaving. Yeah, there you go. He um, did it. He fulfilled his prophecy. But two two first-time championships in uh, three years for D.C. now. It's kind of cool. Because the Capitals. Capitals, yep. Stanley you got Cup. the Capitals. Good. Yep, that's right, Tom. And now you have uh, the the lovely people from D.C. who boo Trump left and right. Oh, it was great. Did you, had, see, did you hear what oh, happened? Oh, it was great. And then they had, like, the lock him up chant. It was nuts. It was, um, and he he was puffed up. Yep. And just that like, orange person. Oh, it was I had a friend post it was great. On, I had a friend post on Facebook uh, saying the Washington Nationals win it, you know, win the World Series. They used to be the Montreal Expos. The Montreal <laughs> yeah. Expos signed Tom Brady. Tom Brady is a champion once again. <laughs> yeah, that is a good one. Well, no, that's uh, yeah, the Expos. <sighps> takeaways, take bone. Takeaways from the from the game. Did, I know you saw. I, you didn't see any of it. I saw it, like, okay. the latter innings. I, innings. I was like, thrilled for on. one particular person. His, and that's Juan Soto. He's Soto, the, he, he's shark, a 21 right? yeah, baby shark. Talking, yeah. um, but he's the just turned 21 and Couldn't everything. Couldn't get that kid out, And man. at the end of his press conference last night, saying? he goes, all I care about is sampling every piece of alcoholic beverage there is to taste. <laughs> how can you not how, how can you not drink oh, to that? Great. I mean, and he was a classic. Bit, like, he was clutch. He was so great in that series. And um, he saved a run or two last night, Yes, I he think. did. He made some great catches yeah. there. Uh, the MVP ended up going to Stratsburg, which yeah. I agreed upon. But if you also, you were asked and you were agreed. Yeah, I was asked. You yeah, said they, you agreed David upon. David Ortiz texted me and he right. said, "Oh, we're doing a, we need a, your a vote. fans' choice here. Who's yeah. your vote?" Can you tweet it out for us? But please. I gotta <laughs> say, <laughs> yeah. break a leg. Uh, Strasburg was very good, and I'm not taking yeah. that away. And we all know I'm not the biggest David Price fan on the face of the earth, but David Price had a much better World Series numbers last year than Strasburg did. He had a Steve great Pierce great game, got the too. MVP. Remember how we were back, going back and forth last year at this time? Is it Pierce? Is it... Yeah. Um, oh, wait. Price won game uh, five or... Price game? won the clinch game. Five. Game five, was yep, it? Yeah, game five. He won mm -hmm. uh, game two and five, I think it was. Oh, man, yeah. But yep. it makes you think about it and say, you know what? You're right. You know, David Price yeah. probably should have got that. But who got the... He didn't hold all the cards at the current moment. Oh, yet. yeah, that's right. It was... Uh, what's his name? Who won? Steve Pierce. Steve Pierce. Steve Pierce got it. Overweight. The Zion Williams. Benefit. For the Astros, I don't know yeah, if any of you guys heard though last night, but they went and tried to do interviews with some of the teams to close out and oh, everything. No. But what? oh, you already well, know it. No, but it just feels like impending doom. It isn't. Yeah, well, yeah go go ahead. Yeah. Garrett Cole didn't get used last night in the game, oh. which is very very bizarre. So yeah. they asked him. He goes, you know what? You know you were warming up and everything. Zach Greinke threw a great game. It was he let up a home run, make it two to one. Why wasn't 
Garrett Cole, the first guy out of that bullpen. That's what I kept saying to myself. Yeah. Well, I mean, so Garrett Cole refused to speak to the media because he said he was no longer employed by the Astros and he's not going to be speaking. Yeah, he's a free agent. He's a free agent. Well, so you, he's not coming. Oh, you, go ahead. Yeah. You, well, sorry. No, no, but, right. um, Before we get into the whole Garrett Cole, but you would think by, you know, watching what the Red Sox did last year in uh, the last game by, you know, starting to use their starting pitchers because – yeah. Last game, yeah, they're what, not going to be pitching anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, you would think, oh, hey, ding, light bulb goes off my head. Let, let's do the same thing. Yeah, let's get Garrett Cole in there, yeah. Even if it's for an inning, you yeah. know, or, yeah. you know, one out. He should have been the first guy out of that pen. So, A.J. Hinch, the manager for, the, for Houston, really did screw well, up. And there's screw also, that, like, people, shocking to me. Is, yeah, he's a pretty good manager. Yes. But it's also, there was another point, like, ride Granky because he only made, like, that home run was that, uh, like, it was the just one a, blemish. Yeah, it was just a hanging changeup, yep. right? That's yep. all. What Ricky threw else. amazing last night. Yeah. He had the players off, from the Nationals off balance, had yeah. no clue what was coming out of the, uh, his delivery. I feel bad for I that was shocked. guy, man. I, I was shocked how I wanted yeah. the Nationals to win, Yeah. but I kept saying to myself, can the Nationals win a fourth game on the road yeah. in Houston yeah, against Houston the board. best team in the American League and who had the best home record at their park. Yeah. Houston was You're running. never going to see it again, folks. Yeah. I mean, that was history right there. Houston was riding the momentum train coming back to Houston, and they absolutely yeah. blew it. No, yeah. and they, I would have been fine with Houston winning. I'm, they, I'm went okay right with off, a, they went right off the bridge. I wouldn't have had an issue with it either. Yeah. But I wanted to see the Nationals yeah. because we haven't seen it from before. No, so there you go. we congratulate the Nationals here. Uh, what a heck of a ride it was for them. And... We're looking forward to 2020. Maybe the Red Sox can get back on board. We'll see. The last thing I was going to mention is the Red Sox do have a new um, director of operations for baseball. It's not direct. It's not president of baseball operations. Once again, director of baseball, whatever they want to call that. Yeah. And that's Hayami Hi- Bloom. Hayami Bloom. He was the second in command or something with the Tampa Rays for Miami. a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, he uh, is. I'm a fan of his. He knows how to construct teams. Well, I mean, he knows how he to develop. Yeah. He knows how to... Out of nothing, too. Um, yeah, right. Yeah. Use the resources he has available to him to make a good product in a team. So, you know, he's got a tough winner here ahead because you've got the Mookie Betts decision here on what we're going to do here. Yeah. Uh, J.D. Martinez now has uh, four days to decide on what he's going to Ooh. do. I think he is a stupid, stupid man if he opts out because there's not that many other options out there. So I do hope that he stays, but it's going to be a very busy off season for the Red Sox. So we'll keep you uh, posted on what's upcoming for them. Any other things we need to discuss? We did it all today. We really did. We covered Twitter, uh, Twitter jail, yep, uh, Twitter baseball, jail. Uh, Bruins, Celtics, Kyrie, Kyrie. Uh, I think I, I, I think, I think I'm good. good. Are you good? Right, yeah. I think I'm good too. So we will see you next time here. Another episode of Face the Facts. And we'll maybe break Phil down. Will be back again. Maybe. Well, I could shrink I down to another Bruce. Get him into- Bring him up like, from the uh, seat. Individual, yeah. We'll talk about the Patriots uh, Ravens game matchup. Hopefully, the Bruins continue to surge. Same with the Celtics. And uh, maybe there's some news for baseball. So we'll keep you posted on that. And we'll see you next time. For Nick Face, we'll see you later.